Hi guys, I am Ashrata and this is ER for you retail billing software. Today we will see how you can create a new purchase in ER for you. So in most of the software you'll have to create suppliers and items beforehand. But here in ER for you we'll see how you can create an item, its suppliers and update its quantity, MRP, etc. in one go. So this is the third option on the black ribbon. Just click on the purchase management. This again will take you to the new purchase. So from here you can select your suppliers. If the suppliers are already created, you can just check that from this drop down list or you can just create a new supplier from over here. So from this window, you can add the supplier's name and all the details and just click on save. Whenever you want to select the supplier, again, you can select him from this particular list. Now all the details that you have of the supplier, you can add it add it from here for example if you have any invoice number so you can put the invoice number over here and directly come to the items entry further if there is an uh, barcode on the items that you have brought you can scan those barcode from here or if there is no barcode yet we'll see how in er for you we can generate a barcode as well so in that case we'll leave the barcode section as empty here in the item will create the item for example it is for example it is a levi's jeans hsn code if you have you can mention it over here gst it's 12 percent on garments brand again it is levi's and size for example it is 30 color black color jeans Again, what quantity you have brought? So it's 30 pair of pants or jeans you have got from the supplier and the purchase rate that you have paid for one pair of jeans. So for example, it is 3000 rupees. You'll see the tax has been calculated as 360 rupees. If you want this to be bifurcated over here in CGST or SGST, that will also be possible. Similarly, gross purchase rate and total purchase rate have been updated. MRP, at what MRP or what price you want to sell this item at. So for example, let's say it's 5000 rupees. And if you're providing a special discounted price in your store to your customer for that sale, sale section or sale label is given over here so for example if i'm giving a discount of 200 rupees so this will be 5800 is my sale price that's it this is how easy you have created an item over here just click on and you'll see all the entries or all the details over here that is total quantity total net purchase price and total tax and gross purchase price these everything has been edited or updated over here just click on save okay as i told you earlier about the barcodes if you want to print the barcodes here is the option you can just click on it over here or if you don't want to print the barcodes you can just again create new purchase and just click on it so again this is how barcode looks this is levi's jeans or the items name and its specifications and a mrp and rate can also come over here so this is how we can create barcodes just print this from your barcode printer was the entry done for one type of item what in case we have multiple items or same items in different size or color and or brand could be different so here for that again we'll select the supplier put the invoice number over here and directly come to the barcode if there is no barcode we leave it empty the item we create as shoes hsn code if we have 12 percent gst brand filler size let's say it is of seven size color is white and quantity is 10 purchase rate let's say is 2000 rupees tax has been calculated similarly mrp will be 3000 rupees and similar will be sales now it may possible that the size over here is size 8 but other thing everything details will be the same for that all we have to do is click on copy once we have copied this, the same, all information has been copied and all we have to do is just click on, uh, delete the 7 and click on 8. So this is how 8 numbers, 8 sites shoes has been added in here. Now, if we want to make another uh, items entry over here, so again, we can click on add. Make that item, let's say it is jackets. But here, HSN code, GST, again 12%, brand flying machine jeans size it is l color brown five pieces purchase rate 3000 rupees tax 360 rupees mrp 
as 4000 rupees and similar will be sales but here we might it might happen that these jackets had their particular barcode sent from Sharma and Sons and we would want to use that same barcode only so here we can again scan that barcode in this barcode section let's just say the barcode was FMJ123 okay and we would want this similar barcode only to appear on the jacket so for that we can use that previous barcode also Again, we'll see one entry where uh, we have to make some GST slabs. So let's just take an item such as it is a t-shirt. In t-shirt, if there is an HSN code, in the GST percent, I have an option over here just below where GST percent is written. Here, as I click on the GST, a window will appear. Here we can see that from if the item starts from 0, and goes to 500 rupees I can create a GST slab on my purchase price as 5% you'll see the CGST and SGST have come similarly if again it increases from 500 rupees and above 2000 rupees the GST slab should be on purchase price should be 12% so here I can just select this, make this slab over here and we'll see how this affect while we do the these particular entries. Now I have cancelled this. I'll put the brand name. Again it is denim. Size as M. Color white. Quantity 5. Purchase rate. I am keeping it as 300 rupees so tax has been calculated as per the 5% that is 15 rupees what happens in the purchase rate if I put somewhere in the second slab that was between 500 to 1000 let's say it is 700 rupees you'll see the tax percent now has changed to 12% so the software has detected that the purchase rate has come to the second slab and the second slab so its GST should be 12% not 5% so again we can create such, such GST percent from here and also we'll see we have seen that how multiple entries can be done in the same time right as I again click on its MRP and the sale price click on save we'll again have the option to print the barcodes so this is how we saw Today in er for you how we can do purchase entry very quickly, make the suppliers, put the invoice numbers, update the quantity, select brand size, every information about that. And in fact, if we have multiple items, how to do the entry of single items and multiple items today we have seen in er for you If you have any further questions regarding this, please mention them in the comment section below. Ashwata Moite signing off for the day. Bye-bye.